Hey there Vikings, it's Mr. Hard here, and you can see on my screen I've got this article that I'm reading. There's some pretty sad news coming out of Syria, and uh, looks like there could be some conflict on the horizon even for the United States. And I was reading through this article and I came across some words here that I don't quite know the meaning. I, I sort of think I do, but I don't quite know the meaning. So, um, for instance, there's this word here, norms. You know, saying it violates international norms. I'm not quite sure what that means. So, no problem. I've got my dictionary here. And I know that you guys love dictionaries and that you use them all the time. And I'm going to go and look for norms. Well, maybe I have a better idea. See, since you're using the Chrome browser, you can install an extension that's going to make finding the definitions of words and even hearing how they're pronounced a little easier. So you're going to see this up here. I've got this extension called Google Dictionary. And what that does is when I'm on a web page and I see a word that I don't know, I can just double click on it and it brings up the definition, just kind of a basic definition. And then there's a little audio symbol here. Let's listen to that for a second. No. no. So I can hear how the words pronounced because there are some words sometimes that I don't always know. It says something that is usual, typical, or standard. And then if I wanted some more information about the definition for norm, I can click on more and then it's going to bring me in. I can see that there are some synonyms here that I could look at and then I could go to some other definitions. Let's go take a look at another word here really quickly. I saw a word down here at the bottom of the page that I wasn't quite sure about as well. Let's take a look at the word endorsing. So this is to declare one's public approval or support. And then I can listen to the Endorse. Word. Endorse. So one thing you could do then is you could copy that definition if you needed to and you could put it into another document and start building a list of vocabulary. So that's how you might use this Google dictionary extension so that anytime you're reading something on the web you can quickly look up that word get the meaning hear how it's pronounced and that way when you're reading you always have the deepest possible understanding.